Think fast, Chuckle Nuts! Hello everyone, praise good here. And think fast. It is Warriors All-Stars. What is Warrior All-Stars? One, it's a Dynasty Warriors game, but it basically con con uh, contains hits, classics, and All-Stars from everything that Koei Tecmo has touched. This includes games such as Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive. As you can see on as you can see here on the screen. This also contains characters showed off the trailer, such as a cat version of Nobunaga. The the famous Chinese general, I believe. And Opuna from Opuna the the uh I forget what the name of the full game is. Some uh, one of my friends is gonna tear me a new one. <laughs> yeah, it's basically a from what I know, it's a celebration of and spoof of every Warriors game ever made. Anyway, this is the PC version of the game. So PC versions, PC options. And I will tell you that I have tried turning on the... I have tried turning on the uh, full screen a couple times and I keep getting this weird window. There it goes. Jeez, it just now kicked on to full screen. I don't know if there was a if there was a lapse in your view. Anyway, enough about that. Now, last thing, what is the Think Fast series? Or yeah, if you want to know what system is available, on, check the description. That'll have all the information. Yada yada. Was the Think Fast series basically? I sit down with the game for 15 to 45 minutes, playing it as if I just opened it up from a physical package and give you folks my thoughts on the game based on that time alone. Okay, I can talk over this stuff because it's all in Japanese. I should be listening so I can understand the language more, yet I'm going to talk over it. I was going to comment upon when we first got here, it's like, okay, and one of the first shots of the game is a cat girl and a half-naked girl. We've hit the anime trope het dead on. Oh. So this is... This is how we bring in... Uh, <laughs> this is how we tie in the fact that so many weird crossing paths of the Dynasty Warriors lineage. Not specifically Dynasty Warriors flat out either. Everything that's been become a Dynasty Warriors slash Musou fighter game. Well, I th oh, some of them are light spirits, some of them are shadow spirits. I feel like we've got both heroes and villains from all of Cross Dynasty Warriors. Which, if I know any of my, if I know my Muso fighters, if I know my Muso fighters, it definitely will boil down to the fact. It will also boil down to the fact that you eventually will be able to play as villains. So. Samurai War, Sengoku, Sengoku Muso, or also Sengoku Basara, which is also a very popular uh, Dynasty Warriors Muso title. So these two are basically flagship characters. I have never seen this character. I thought it was Rain from Ta Trails of Cold Steel, not gonna lie. Nobunyaga. Yeah. Oh, Tokiden. I played Tokiden a while ago on this channel. See, there's Kasume. Kasumi, excuse me. I'm just kind of thumbing through because I want to see what characters I do know. I mean, Ryu Hayabusa. Who does not know Ryu Hayabusa? Oh. The protagonist of Neo. Wow. Al Altelier. Interesting. I played, I played Knights of Azure on this series before. You're gonna have the weird weapon. Okay, let's just stick with the let's just stick with the character I actually would like to play as, and not just and not just because of appearances. I know what you're thinking. Stop. 
Because oddly enough, I never have played it that much on this channel or at all in like the past 15, 10, 15 years. I really like Dead or Alive. Oh good, Hinoka's here. Hinoka is here, complete with, uh, complete with features. Listen, it's dead or alive. You know, you know why I'm saying what I'm saying. <laughs> oh god, we're saving the furry nation. I realize what I've said. Damn me, I don't care. <laughs> I did not mean it in. Son of a gun, it's Lobo! <laughs> Damn me if you wish. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'd rather not fight Lubu. Why is the first fight to fight Lubu? Uh, why? The mighty demon, Lubu. Okay, move, jump, normal attack. Why use a strong attack, which always, which in these Musou games always happens after a certain amount of attacks. I don't know how many. You press Y while dashing. Oh. Got it. So what? what is it to, da to dash? Oh, God. Well, I found the lock-on button somehow. Okay, trigger. Okay. It was- it's left trigger. It is- okay, while you're moving, it is- Okay, we're not gonna fight Lubu. I also don't know what my- Do you not understand the fact it's Lubu? Lubu, Lubu will annihilate me. There is no questioning this. I'll, in fact, I'll even fight him just to show this off. Do I have all my moves? All right, it's trigger. No, that's map. This trigger. Okay, so do I have? I gotta look. Uh, hero info. Kasumi. Oh, I have multi hits. Okay. So I have up to three and then multi hits after that. Got it. Okay, that's her thing. She does. Mo she does. Yep. So that's her special thing. Is she does multi hits? Give me that. I also don't know what my special meter is. Uh, okay, it's definitely the for Nintendo. Well, I don't know what system this is all on. You'll find it in the description, like I said. A. Why is... Why are these flowers appearing? Do I punch them? And Ukemi, so you should block attacks. Left bumper to black. Guess tech attacks and you can hold on. Okay, left bumper and A to dodge. And there's, and there's jump back. So I have to use the block button. Got it. Well, let's go. Now... I have said multiple times I love Muso. I love Muso games. I love beat em ups. I love Muso games. I love beat em ups. Just this. I love these kinds of games with all my heart. Because it basically allows me to be. It allows me to. It allows me to be super. It allows me to just go crazy with. It allows me to just beat up multiple dudes at multiple times without much uh, worry. Oh. Hanoka, could... I understand. I understand that you're here? Tokitsuga? Alright, this one. It's a little slower than what I'm used to for a lot of Muso fighters. Also, where's my hexagons? Oh god.
There he goes. Is Hinoka fighting, by the way? I would like it if some characters would fight. Ah, yes, there's money for those upgrades that I'm going to need. Okay, so that's a door that's not going to open. Okay, so the fact that there are characters that can attack. So basically, there's going to be more characters in here that I'm even aware of, considering... Oh, hello. Press B to unleash a special attack. Okay, good. So I have special meter. I have special meter so I can use that to my advantage. I wonder if I can hold the button to do more. Uh, but yeah, like, not that button. It's this button. Stop talking. Now, please stop acting. Oh, I can't attack or... Did I win? I won already? Could you lay it on a little, a little thicker, unnamed character? But as I was saying, the, the other characters were fighting in this. The other characters that were the quote-unquote guest characters were fighting in this. Which basically means that every character you see is a controllable character that you can fight with at some point. I like how the example is Neo. The 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 example for the level ups is the Neo character. I forget his name. I love how the example for all the button commands is the token small magic girl. Meanwhile, I'm just here. I just like, eh, I pick Kasumi because dead or alive. It's great. I love Dead or Alive. Alright, even if there is voice acting, I don't have to wait for it. I was like, wait, what's going on? Oh, Setsuna. But, anyway. There's people who are going to judge me for picking Kasumi because Kasumi, or Dead or Alive, is very much known for two things. Two very large things. Thank you, Team Ninja. You're doing God's work. <laughs> but I actually, as a series, love Dead or Alive because, yes, you can block attacks in that series, but you can also counter, counter punch and counter enemies move. Where a lot of games have the triangle system for fighting games. Well, Dead or Alive's is, did they hit high? You can hit mid to, you can hit mid to interrupt that or hit high to like deflect it. Did they hit mid? Hit low to go underneath that. Did they hit high or did they hit low? Go high to counteract that. It's it's like a weird... I don't know if I'm saying this right, but it's like a weird... It's like a weird additional level of rock, paper, scissors on top of the normal block, grab, attack. That's who it was. Okay. I was sitting here like... I was sitting here looking at stories like... It's like, huh... Who is it from Dead or Alive that I like to play as a lot? And I was like, oh yeah, it's Christine. The character that was like the newest added character in 3, I think it was. But yeah, these are all... I'm... Yeah, they, they, like they showed us like 7 possible characters to pick from on the title screen. And these are... There was a Puna right at the very end. And there... And... Yeah, there were... We had like nine characters to choose from or something like that, and then that was definitely at least 18 characters that went through there, if not 27. There are more characters here than what is being let on. So is this just generic plot? Generic plot of find the, find the six MacGuffins to revive the land and save us? Yep, that's exactly what the plot is. Very basic plot, but then again, it's a Muso fighter. You don't so much come, you, you don't so much come to a Muso fighter expect, expecting, you know, what is it? You don't come into a Muso fighter 
expecting for grade A plot and something that will blow your mind. You come here because you are one person fighting 700 other people and you and you walk out with barely a scratch. Also, I want to say that I maybe should have put this on hard because that felt way too easy. Granted, level one, but still that battle felt way too easy. Also, they're definitely going to let us play as these cat beast people at some point, but it's probably like post-game stuff. Okay. Well, this is this is definitely a scenario of nobody, nobody, nobody is understanding what's going on. But we have to do it just because we have to do it. So is this going to be like more traditional Warriors games where you get a character and that's it, or is this going to be like newer Warrior Warrior style games where you can, where if you have multiple party members, if you have multiple party members, you can control multiple party members. Okay. So there's no additional things I can access right now. Full map. Oh, that's actually kind of big. So is this like all stage based and there's not like additional things? There's definitely got to be additional things. Don't. Don't pull me around. Oh, team organization. So I can take members with me? Oh. I mean, that's everybody I can take. Team organization. It's going to be one of those things where it's just going to be done. Confirm. There we go. I have to select menu options because it's kind of poorly optimized. Okay. Why did you send me back here? Okay, so... It looks like unless something opens up, we're just going to be in the lower left corner of this map and it's going to be reused later. Let's go. Just go. Do the damages. Go, Kasume. I call. I think you saying Kasume. It's Kasumi. Let's see, the main mission will be marked by that. Two, three. It looks like uh, Kasumi finishes off her all her attacks the same way. I keep okay. Sorry, I bravery is a level applied only during battle service. I think here the character strength. And the higher bravery, the higher character. It's a level system. So Setsuna is five. I'm level. I'm level one. Oh god, I meant to dodge. Move. I'm actually trying to block like most of this time. I'm going to use hero skills so that the members of the companies possess. Okay, so... I to unleash powerful. Okay, so it's basically another form of a special gauge, and it got it. Interesting. Muso Rush is a powerful tool that helps. Oh, so it's one of those ones where like every like, other uh, where your other characters will jump in and help you attack. I think when you have Star Rush. Okay, so when that star is full, I can activate it. So there's in battle level ups. That is weird. Okay, fully unlocked. I see what we're doing now. Fully. Okay, I have to push you. Uh, 
Also, the longer it lasts, the bigger the chance of a new ca uh, ch companions will appear to cheer you on. They'll help with powerful attacks. More experience. Okay. So this is magic gauge stuff. Yeah, so this is like other Warriors games where you do it. This is like other Warriors games when you... Where, when you activate the magic gauge, you get... You basically get... You get your full skill tree unlocked without any other questions asked. Oh, cool, that happened. Okay, so it has its own little mix on the on how this all works, where you have assists instead of controlling other characters. Wrong button. Oh. There's missions and submissions, okay. Uh... Okay, so I got this. I'm definitely dodging. Oh my gosh. Heck with this. I actually could not recover that entire time. Here you go. Merry Christmas. Alright, so those two are still recovering. Just don't let him ever recover, is what I'm gathering here. Don't ever let the AI recover from attacks because they're just cheap. That, or it's meant to go that quick. Okay, I lost control, so we're done with the mission. So this is very much a higher stakes Warriors game where you get touched like three times and you lose. Also, dodging is impossible. But thanks for S rank. Oh! I leveled up. I leveled up enough to get new... Uh, acquired materials... I got goodies. Uh, regard has to be raised for individually for each hero. Oh. When you get more regard, you get other bonus goodies. Got it. The struggle for the throne has been unlocked. Where is the additional quest? I should have looked at that. How can I see? I can't move on like this, so. Oh, hold B for fast travel. Got it. I will say, but wait, how do I do this thing? How... I also like how quickly I'm able to load stuff, too, just because I am playing this off of a solid state. Alright, Hinoka's gonna help. I really wish I could have... Is there... Okay, everything's still the same. Do I have any additional members I can bring in? No. Wait, can I change leader? You can change leaders. Alright, play as Hinoka. Why not? So, it does, like I said, it does mean you can play as multiple things. So, Battlefield Info. So, as soon as level 7, so he won't die. Uh, Shiki Forces. Okay, some other characters. Okay, we can always feel that out. Uh, hero cards. No. Regard info. No. I guess we can't, like, see system. 
No. Well, let's see. We, I guess we we're not going to be able to see what the uh, clearing things are. But no, it's probably right here. No, it's not. Okay. A lot of times, missions are like... Right there. So, hold on. Before we go into her, uh, hero info for Hanoka. Okay, so she just has singles wise. She's not like a Kasumi who has a triple. Okay. She is more of a slugger. She actually just throws all of her titties into it. Her fighting style is throwing her ass and titties into her combat. I mean, she knows where her she knows where her focal points are. I'm not going to judge her. <laughs> strong, strong attacks five, four, three. So you can press X to have a teammate. On, oh, I can't though. Oh. Okay. So, yeah, base capturing. I don't know this. Recovery, health, and bases. Okay. Anybody who's played the more recent Dead or Lives, is this what happens with, with Hanoka? Does she actually use her uh, use her more prominent features to her benefit? Alright, let's finish this off and clear them all out. I'm glad their weapons are red so we can actually do things. Okay, here skills will awakening skills that bravery reach a certain level. Bravery required to use wake skills, different uh, yada yada yada. Def reduce defense of nearby enemy, increase attack speed, adds love effect to the hero's health. I don't, I don't like the fact that these small creatures are in the way. Anyway, what is it? To do an alliance strike. Okay. So you do a stas afflictment? Is that what I'm reading here? Hello, you're an optional fighter. Optional is, is a strong word, by the way. Okay, so Hanoka is a slugger. No. I've already unleashed a special on you. Sengoku Basura chick. We're done with this. Have a bloody rose. I maybe should put this on hard, actually. So yeah, Hinoka is like, she definitely uses her more prominent features, but she's a brawler. I like it. The other regenerate health. Like, it's very crude and crass how I'm saying it. I'm well aware. But you got to understand that what I'm being presented here does not leave anything to the imagination. Please die. Please die enough so I can summon the leader of the space. You. Punch you! I kind of... In regular battle bases... Uh, I just, okay, whatever. I kind of like the fact... I do kind of enjoy the fact... That she is very much a uh, brawler. Like, I'm assuming in the fighting game she is the same way. Where she is a more of a street brawler in her fighting style. I love... I don't know what it is about fighting games. But if you have a street brawler, I love that character. The fact that she pretty much decides to throw that ass into a dicahedron while fighting is a bonus. <laughs> Somebody's going to have a field day with this episode. Where are you? Stand up. Punch you! Sorry, my, my trumps. Okay. 
Oh, I swapped to Kasumi. I actually can't block. Hinoka's down, and what happens at this, at this point? Yeah, I was gonna say, if another enemy touches me, I'm dead. So I, at this point, need to get whatever he dropped. It wasn't, uh... Tamaki forces have appeared. Am I... Oh, thank you for recovering health. Or is that an overtime thing, or is that just a once? That's just a once thing. Oh, I can't go that way. It's not, it's not the way I'm allowed to go. Oops. So I understand this part where if I hit the D-pad in the direction, if I hit the D-pad in the direction of a character, I could switch over to them for a little bit. Why is the... Why is she the slowest hitting character here? Punch you! I hit nobody with that. Well, got that one. Uh, skill charged. Okay. Now where? Oh, there's somebody coming my way. And it's Lubu again. There we go. Okay, this combo attack is actually kind of nuts. It could also just be that Hanoka is the heavy hitter, but it just doesn't look like it with her attacks. Are they trying to capture a base I've already conquered? Hold on, we can't have that happen. Excuse me. Excuse me. Also, I need to capture the other base for Oka does something, but I need to say, or Uka. Is it Uka or Oka? They probably said it in dialogue and I wasn't paying attention. Zalyun. Also, I apologize for earlier. I, I forgot that Dynasty Warriors is based mostly in uh, Chinese mythology. Hold on, I just got to throw my whole ass into Dodecahedron. Give me a second. Excuse me, this is my base. You are not allowed to... Oh, boy. Yes, yes, Doki Doki. Heart goes... Pop... Heart goes Papu Papu. <laughs> Listen, I don't know a lot of Japanese, but I know enough to know that that basically means my heart, my heart is pounding furiously. Defend the base for two minutes. I didn't know that was a sub, that was a sub thing, but we're now going to go... We're not going to ignore that. We're going to take over every other base I can, which also I have done wrong because of what you see here. That's the base over there. I have come for the Luau. Also, I'm just oppressing everybody. Oh, I actually didn't mean to do that. My bad. I actually didn't mean to do this. Oh my god! Uh, well, I think, I, I think, ironically enough, I may have found the character I want to use. Just because she does a suplex. Suplex! Sorry, I... I also love characters that do wrestling moves. I don't know if I'm a man of culture or a terrible person because Hinoka is that character in question. God, this game... I don't know how every Musou fighting game is different enough to be entertaining to me. Like, I understand somebody watching this probably thinks, Oh, you're playing an uh, yet another Musou game. 
Gee, what's the twist of this Muso game? You have one additional bar that does something? And to which say, yes. But now I understand the people that... I don't, Now I understand all the people that complain about Madden and those sports games that basically get na character name uh, names of characters changed and stats tweaked and then they re-release a game for $60 that probably has like had at the end of the day would have at the end of the day been a $5 DLC. I had to... Oh, she took a base back? Okay, that's fine. I can take that back. That's not my main base, so we're okay. Where is it? Okay, I got the base. Let's get back. Yeah, that's kind of bad that, like, it took three battles, and then it's like, oh, wait, I can make anybody my leader out of this group? Hold on, what if I make Hinoka my leader? Instantly favorite care, instantly found my character in the game. It's just the, ba it's just the bad part of it is I basically picked the most dead or alive character to have as my favorite, and people are probably silently judging me for that. Judge me if you will. I don't know who it is. Also, it's been a very long day of work. Video-wise, I'm just kind of saying things and realize I am damning myself with the evidence. Whatever. I've hit that point in the night where it's just like, whatever, I'm going to say words. They're going to happen. Now, excuse me. Excuse me, I believe this base is mine. Give me the, give me the ba base leader. Base leader. Thanks, thanks, Marie Rose. I'm, I'm gathering all the bases before I finish this. Can I? Oh, I can. I think I can all-star. Hello, Ulka. Let's talk about this, Ulka. Oh, is it done? Yes, you very much can. This is the power of a lot of things. Oh, two bases have spawned. Okay, so I can only go down from there. Okay, I do have to defeat them both. So they're going to run a pincer attack on the south quadrant. While I'm going to go up to the top and try to handle this quadrant. See, this is what I was waiting for for a, game, for a Warriors game. It's just, just that there's a lot more to do. Also, I know if I play this game more in my, in my spare time, I'm definitely going to bump this up to hard, because even though I am complaining about getting mollywopped by combos, I'm also walking over everything. Hello? Shiki? Shiki. Yes, yes. Omae wa mo shinderu. I can't get out of this. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I can't do anything. It's a mage. Help, it's a mage. Thank you for some of the- oh, wow. Alright, let me go get the other one. What was his name? Tenchi? Tenchi Muyo? So, I guess to dive into this, what Warriors games have I played? What, what uh, Dynasty Warriors or Musos fighting games have I played that you guys haven't seen? Um, really? I really, the most of the, well, the ones I've played have been Nintendo spin-off titles, effectively, that have turned into Muso fighters, so... The Legend of Zelda ones, and, um, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Like, those are the only Musos I've put my full time and effort into. I own, I own eight. I own Dynasty Warriors 8. I own Sengoku, Sengoku Rasura. You're the chick from the opening thing. Why am I beating up the mages? Fight the mages. Fight the mages guild. I don't think I hit, I don't think who I was targeting. Nope, I, well, I didn't. Throw the throw again. Throw the acid no decahedron to finish the fight. 
That's right, you better flee. Well, that was... That was fun just to basically learn what was probably going to be my favorite my character to use in this game. I was going to comment on it earlier. But it was just like, I have picked the all-lady team and I don't think a single one of them is wearing heels. Because for some reason, when I pick a... When I play a Warriors game, there always is a character that wears heels and I always seem to comment on the fact that, wow, you're running in heels. Fantastic. Oh. Fair enough. So, I'm just reading through this really quick. If you need to stop and read the story, go for it, but I'm just thumbing through it really fast. Well, there you go. Land roll guard. I'll, okay, there's an achievement here with Upuna on it. You guys can't see. Also, went up to level 8. I went slow. New attack, new X attack, fantastic. Wait, did I have a new Y attack too? Original title, Deception. Knights of Azure, Altier, Alt Atelier. Samurai Warrior series and Surge Concerto, whatever. Oh. These have card effects on them. This is the level up system. The card effects can be used to increase somebody's something. Uh, friendship gift with a special ability that's unlocked in level between. Oh! So, uh, making acquaintances with certain characters in your squad. Making acquaintances with certain characters will actually give you specific level up stats. So, each character probably has a specific stat they want. So, this is harkening back to Fire Emblem Warriors for me, where certain characters boast in specific stats. Oh, I have a town. Why do I have a town? Why is there... Who is it? Is this... Is this Rachel in the town? Is that her name? My One of my other characters? Yeah. Or, yeah, that's her. I thought she had a different getup. No, it is her getup. The spa. We're really doing this right now? <laughs> ah, yes. All right. Well, before I damn myself further with things. Well, what's this? Hello. Uh, not right now. That's a new quest. So I can explore around the town and kind of learn things. Neat. Anyway, I think I'll actually end things off here. I realize I haven't even scratched... Because a lot of these games, I haven't even, I'm pretty sure I haven't even scratched the surface on what I can do with level ups and whatnot. But it is a Musou fighting game, and there is a lot of stuff I will be able to do in this game in its entirety. And a lot of characters to unlock, not even just those that I was presented earlier. Fair enough. Anyway, if you are interested in Warriors All-Stars, want to know what, uh, what systems it's available on, how much it will cost you, anything of that sort, that is all in the description down below. Thank you all so much for watching this initial reactions to Warriors All-Stars. And tune in next time when I'll react to a brand new title for the very first time. You folks have a great rest of your day, and take care. I, of course, had to pick the most curvaceous series to use for this.